Today we are going to be drafting short kings. I'm going to go with 5, 9, and under because I guess just compared to the rest of the NHL, that kind of makes sense. So that is the mark. The highest we could draft is 5, 9. As soon as you hit 5, 10, you're too tall. For this draft anyway. I myself fit into this category, so I could be drafted right now if I was in the NHL. Let's find out which team we will be using for this draft. It is, boom, Columbus. Johnny Goudreau, absolutely not. It doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. Fog of War, no. Player Morale, no. Fantasy Draft, yeah. Okay, I think I'm just leaving these two on. That seems to be the common settings for drafts these days. Oh, I just realized we might have a tough time for goalies. There's got to be two goalies, no? I guess there's only one way to find out. Give me a low pick, to be honest with you, like 20s. Excellent. You're kidding. Brad, you absolute goat. 100%, that's our first pick. Brad Marchand making 6.1. That is one of the best deals in the league. And he is now a blue jacket. Yeah, he's got to be on the team. They're both left wingers, but it doesn't matter. We're bringing him home. Johnny Goudreau, welcome back to the jackets that are blue. Yeah, if I made it 5'8 and below, I feel like this draft might actually be impossible. So... We have a pretty good cutoff there at 5'9". It's still going to be tough. Zuccarello, another left winger, but I'm going to go with the Conn Smythe winner, Jonathan Marcheseau, first. And then we will come back for Zook. Maybe defense could be an issue as well. So let's go ahead and just get Zuccarello now. And we will maybe go look at some defense. Possibly goalies. I've seen two goalies that are six foot, but I haven't even seen 5'11 yet. So I don't know. There's got to be somebody. There actually isn't. We have to take the goalies that are 5'11", I guess, because there's no options. Logan's close. 61 overall. I don't know. And we've hit the bottom. So 5'10 was the shortest. We saw two 5'11 netminders. If we want to stand any chance at doing decent, then I think we got to go with the 5'11 guys. Jared Spurgeon's a great start to our defensive core. 7.5. It's a little expensive, but we don't have a ton of options. We got Tori Krug, which is perfect because he is a left defender. He'll be paired with Spurgeon. Yanni Gord will be the next selection for the Columbus Blue Jacket. So we've got our top defensive pair. We've got a decent amount of forwards. Cam Atkinson, welcome aboard. A right winger, which we need because we currently have none. Yaroslav Halak, 5'11", 80 overall. I guess the goalies will just be... The tallest players on the team. At this point, I'm basically just taking whoever I come across. Connor Sheary, perfect. Another player, and he's only making 1.5. Very friendly. Yep, defense is also going to be a struggle. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, Nick. I won't even be able to be picky about handedness. Bryson, phenomenal. Stalic will be our backup, 5'11". Again, that's basically as low as I can go for goalies, unfortunately. We've also got Dobby. You know what? No. I'm gonna go with Logan because he is the shortest goalie I found at 5'10". He also gloves right. Very interesting guy right here. And our 61 overall backup goalie. Any short king centers? Yes, there is. Tyler Johnson. We are in desperate need. 5 million again is a little expensive considering we still have a bunch of picks here, but gotta be done. That's what I'm talking about. We got back to back right here. Colin Blackwell as well as Sheldon. I guess I'll take both of these guys. Oh, we still need two defense. That's not good. Okay, Brad Hunt. Amazing. That was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. Victor Mete, he is left handed. I'm just gonna quickly see if I could find a right handed player, but. We probably have to go with Victor. Yep, consider it done. My strategy now is just to find the two best forwards that I can get. Brendan Gallagher, phenomenal. He's only 81 overall, making a pretty penny, but at this point of the draft, we can certainly afford that. Yeah, this draft is basically only possible if you set 5'9 as the height. If you did 5'10, there would definitely be some more options, but it's possible with 5'9. Vinny will be our final pick of the draft, 78 overall. We're done. That's how it looks. Not great, but you know what? I have seen some weird teams make it into the playoffs and do okay, so maybe, just maybe, we'll stand a chance. Our backup goalie, not ideal. 
Oh man, we gotta get this show on the road. My stomach is fuming. I should have eaten before I started recording this, but I didn't. Let's have some decent chemistry here. Decent, that's all I ask. Plus five, are you kidding me? Don't even think about it, Jabroni. I think this is everybody. Okay, great. I can just see their height there. So, Joey Anderson, you're gone. Scratch players, we need to throw in Vinny. If I move Zook down a line, then we get 0-0, zero, zero, which is better than having the minus one. And I gotta be able to do something here, no? That doesn't really help. Our ice time allocation is normal, which means the fourth line won't really get that many minutes anyway. How are you still here? Whatever. Our last line will just be a dash two. It is what it is. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Nope. Yeah, I think we just gotta run with what we have. I could move Gallagher down to the fourth line and change it to a minus one, but I will not be doing that. We'll leave this plus five here. And if I do that, that becomes, yeah, okay. So chemistry isn't strong with this group. That's for sure. Just doing a double take here to make sure that everybody is within the restriction. We're good. Defense, we have, oh my goodness, our chemistry is terrible everywhere. I mean, at least we get a plus one. Oh my goodness, guys, what is going on? We are not gonna do well. That is for sure. Not doing that either. What if I like move you? That doesn't really help. That kind of helps. There's not really much to save this. I'm just gonna make this move though because I would rather have a zero and then a minus three than a minus two and then a zero. So we'll do that. Wow, I have not seen chemistry this bad in a minute. We are gonna finish dead last in the league. Well, we'll give it a shot. Maybe our coach is a problem. The chemistry just isn't there. We could try to wait for someone to can their coach and go pick them up, but we'll have to wait probably a while if it even happens at all. So I feel like drafting a team like this is hard, but if we were to go get all the players, like, you know, we got Caulfield, Victor Arvidsson, stuff like that, I feel like we would do pretty decently. But the draft aspect is what makes this really difficult. We were cooking for a minute there. Then we went on a three-game losing streak. Okay. Picking it back up a little bit here. No. No, we're not. Can we just not finish last in the league? I feel like that's reasonable. Not asking for a lot here. Let's see. Is there anyone we can trade for? Probably not. Yeah. That is our player. So, no. See, if I was to do a... What is this post-trade deadline? I, why Every time I say something, we just fall off a cliff. But if I was to do like a, a tall player's draft, where would you set the limit for that? Because I feel like there's a lot of really good players in the middle there. But I feel like even like a really tall player draft wouldn't end so well. So we definitely didn't place last in the league because we weren't even last in our division. We had 80 points on the season. Pittsburgh Penguins won the Metro and the Dallas Stars get the President's Trophy. They had Giroux playing with Arturi Lekkinen and Patrick Kane. Murray and Kemper and Nett. He's sure playing with Brown and Lawton. Victor Hedman, Truba, Pelic and Pionk. It's a very interesting team. Their defense are very solid. Hmm. Top 16 made it. So that's good. Where did we finish in the entire league is my next question. 26. You know what? We take that. Maybe I should have spread the love a little bit because that first line went off and that's pretty much it. Almost 100 points from Brad, 45 tucks. Goudreau had 90 points, a nice amount from Gord. Goaltending was an issue, 899 and an 897. To be honest, Logan did way better than I thought he was gonna do. Tori Krug and Spurgeon both got 38 points. That's, you know, I'll allow it. In the entire league, Darcy Kemper had the most Ws. He also played 76 games, but he had a 910. Fazzy had a great year. And down here, kinda hot, almost a 930 in 65 games, insanity. Carlson is your defensive leader, 71 points. We've actually been seeing a lot that are pretty close to point a game, so this was a pretty slow sim for defense when you look at it compared to the previous drafts. No! We almost won the Art Ross with Brad, but Dreisaitl takes it, getting 50 apiece for a grand total of 100. Looks like he also won the Rocket Richard, yeah. I'm still very proud of you, Brad. You did great. Who is going to be your Stanley Cup champion in this fantasy draft? I don't even know what the teams look like. We saw what the President's Trophy team looks like, 
And whoever wins the cup, we will also go check out their roster. It's taking quite a while here. I don't even know who the final two teams are. It was the Avs that go on to win the ultimate prize. An interesting team here in Colorado. Konechny, 24 points, so he might actually get the con Smythe. Patches and Pedersen with 20. Phil the Thrill, 19. You got Schmaltz with 17. Charlie Mack. Checking out the whole league here. Stewie with a 923 save percentage. Very, very solid. Allmark also did phenomenal. Latang led defense in the playoffs. He was a plus 11. So was Dumba down there. So that's good. And Ovi would have the most points. But yeah, I feel like it's got to be Konechny that wins the con Smythe. Unless they give it to Stewie. Again, it could be possible, but the goaltender has to get 16 shutouts to win the con Smythe. That's what it seems like. Going through the awards quick here. And individual trophies. Dreisaitl with the Art Ross. We knew that. He didn't get the Art Heart combo, though, because Nate Mack would swoop in and take it. The Norris goes to Carlson. Panarin with the Lady Bing. Eklund with the Calder. Is that three Rangers in a row? Wow. Good for them. Konechny would, in fact, win the Conn Smythe. We've been seeing a lot of unique Conn Smythe winners. Katahat with the Vesna and the Jennings. Siegenthaler gets the Masterton. Aubrey with the Jack Adams, O'Reilly, or Rory, as I call him, gets the Selkie. The Lindsay goes to Nathaniel, and as we saw, the Rocket Richard goes to Leon. We almost had it. We were so close. Not one of our best results, but that's going to happen. You know, when you upload 132 drafts in one year, some are going to be good, some aren't. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Again, just hype for NHL 24. I want to get the Goalie Be a Pro going. I'll see you soon.